You ever hear the saying, a vacation will do wonders for your mood? Well, a coat will do wonders for your outfit. Let's get into it. So a coat, man. There's just something about it. Maybe it's the more mature aspects of the garments embracing adulthood. Maybe it's the layering. Or maybe it's because you do get some extra fabric to your piece and therefore getting your money's worth. But first off, what even is a coat? Well, it's a jacket that extends past the hips. That's it. And they come in many variants. There's a multiverse of coats. But today, we'll mainly be talking about the standard coat. Basically, a really warm extended length blazer to keep it simple. And I may throw in a raincoat as well. But heavy parkas and all that i'll save for another time we are talking about this since it's the most accessible coat out there and will fit most budget ranges and if you are in a warmer climate you do still have some other options so consider over shirts they're just basically longer shirt jackets so here are two of the exact same outfits the only difference is the jacket which one do you lean towards being more fashionable most would say the coat right reason being in my opinion is that the extra fabric seems more difficult to pull off and it can be seen as as more impressive when really any person can look awesome in a coat and I can definitely attest to this as someone who grew up in the smaller city of Albuquerque New Mexico where hardly anybody wears a coat because of that extra fabric you're allowed to get away with more fits see the coat basically covers you and there's a little bit of a peak of your fit underneath if you so choose to show it so you can experiment with more color layering textures etc and for the most part won't detract from the overall fit itself and the versatility the versatility man see I I think most people see coats in movies and they probably think of your typical Wall Street guy, someone in the financial district of your city. It's far from that. And in fact, this might be a hot take, but I think a coat is better than a leather jacket. I firmly believe that. So here's what you want to look out for. Ideally, and this is just personal preference, you pick up a coat that is water repellent. Remember, this is a piece that you're going to wear a lot during the fall, winter, and spring. There's a lot of precipitation that happens during that time. And while I do appreciate a nice wool blend coat, I just think you're going to get more of your money's worth with a water repellent one. My recommendation is anything from Uniqlo. Both of these coats are from the Uniqlo U collection, and this one is from the Jill Saunders collaboration. Clean, simple, pairs really nice in formal looks, and guess what? Pairs well in technical fits as well. But it is your money. Like I said, I think you'll get your money's worth with a water repellent one, just like you'll get your money's worth with the sponsor of today's video, HelloFresh. Hey, have you ever had a throw away expired groceries because you didn't have enough time to cook or you got busy sucks right money right down the drain well not to worry hellofresh actually helps cut down food waste by 25 percent compared to grocery shopping it's a can't beat value because even at full price it's pre-portioned ingredients means you don't waste money on excess food it's convenient it's easy and someone else has already done the heavy lifting with an easy to follow recipe just like a coat does the heavy lifting on a fit hellofresh has a ton of recipes to choose from every week you get to try new things without having to shop for each individual ingredients or even learning the recipe i just had this monterey jack chicken meal my goodness i can't even believe i cooked this and i used every ounce of the ingredients it feels good not having to waste food and getting a home cooked meal on the table every day is an accomplishment worth celebrating let hellofresh help with 50 weekly menu and market items to choose from so you can think less about what's for dinner and more about achieving your goals visit hellofresh.com and use code johnny 16 for up to 16 free meals and three surprise gifts you'll be supporting this channel again you Use code JohnnyTai16 and thank you HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video. Anyways, let's get straight into the tips and outfits that I have for y'all. I was getting a little hot, all scrunched up on the couch. Gotta stand up now. My first tip I have for y'all is to avoid a regular t-shirt and instead go for a tank top, a button up, or a hoodie. A tank top typically has a deeper collar which layers differently than a regular t-shirt that everybody is used to. But obviously only do that on warmer days because most likely you'll be under a hoodie. That hoodie poking out behind the collar of your jacket is always a vibe it just screams fall and winter and a button up is done quite often but not one with a mandarin collar see these ones i got from uniqlo it's quite affordable and has a unique aesthetic that is yes formal but not too formal and as you can see all of these fits look pretty dope i'm not saying never wear a regular tee i just think there are better options next tip i have for y'all is to throw on another layer before you throw on your coats and by that i'm talking about over shirts or just another jacket Jacket. Now, I know this might be uncomfortable for you, and it definitely was for me. Like, we're all just used to throwing on just one layer with the jacket, right? But trust me, give it a shot. I know it feels weird, and you're definitely going to have a lot of fails. But you might just find that piece that actually layers quite well. Like, for me, it's this 
wool blend over shirts. I'll leave a link below. I think buttoning it up all the way looks pretty sick. Also, this work shirt paired really well with a tank top as well. I've tried on cardigans. I've tried on other jackets. You want to do a lot of experimenting because you're not just limited to a regular tee or a hoodie. And another thing that might make you feel uncomfortable is accessories. And I'm not talking about jewelry, eyewear, and all that. But I'm talking about accessories like headwear, sling bags, and all that. Even scarves. But seriously, go for it. You're not limited to that Wall Street formal look. The more variety, the better. And you can actually have unlimited outfits if you just have multiple accessories. Personally, I've been filling these beanies from Amazon and it really leans into that winter look. Plus, I wear beanies often. I get lazy doing my hair, so I'm getting my money's worth and they're only 10 bucks. I think headwear is more worth it than buying another shirt. And I also like throwing on hats as well because it's kind of like clashing pieces if you think about it. You know, a coat has a collar, a lapel. You know, it gives off that formal vibe while a cap is on the other end where it's extremely casual. And that just adds complexity to your outfits. And don't get me started with scarves. Scarves and a coat is just just stop. So let me break down some outfits for y'all, how I personally style coats. Each fit will feature a different coat, so that way you guys can get some inspo, starting with the first fit. All right, so here's the first fit. This is with a raincoat from a cold wall. What I love about this coat is the different panels of gray. It's more of a translucent material. Of course, it's, since it's a raincoat, it is water repellent. I do have the Uniqlo Jill Sonder Heat Tech scarf as well. Really dig this piece. It's a two-tone look, so you get some brown, you get some black, but I like that it gives dimension to this outfit. It also kind of acts like as a neck gator in a way. Really gives off those cyberpunk vibes. For the pants, I have the Randy Lucian Crop Tech Cargos. On the feet, we have the Nike Element 55s, one of the more underrated sneakers. Really complements this look nicely. And now for the accessories. Let's start off with the cap. This is the collaboration between Alpaca and my good YouTube friend, Accessorize Me. This hat is water repellent, wind resistant, sweat wicking. And then the bag is the Uniqlo Block Tech Shoulder Bag, which is also water repellent. This is definitely my most worn bag and attached to it is this Orbit Gear Mod. This is basically just additional quick access storage. I put my hand sanitizer there. And then I have the Casio G-Shock watch with a few other accessories. And overall, I'm following that grayscale vibe from my last video, if you guys remember. And this has been one of my favorite outfits lately. Okay, so let's move on to a more standard casual fit with a coat. This fit is paired with the Uniqlo Jill Sonder padded coat. And what I love about it is that it's padded inside, so it's decently warm. But let's talk about the underlayers. Underneath, I have this wool blend shirt jacket that pairs really nicely. I decided to button it all the way up except for the bottom buttons. That way I can show a little bit of contrast with that white shirt but yeah i like the different textures going on we got the more satin water repellent fabric of the coat with a more wool blend shirt jacket and then just your standard shirt underneath i've got a beanie on top from amazon and then the pants are actually from alpha industries this is the jet cargo pants and it pairs really nicely with combat boots these are from dog martens and i just like how the pants go from baggy to really slim because of the boots i think that's always a vibe making this fit very easy to wear no trendy pieces all about colors proportions and layering so up next, we have a more complex outfit. This is another tech wear outfit. So let's start off with the coat. This is the Rosen X Triton coat. And it's just an awesome piece. My girlfriend got this for me for Christmas. So that's the statement piece of the fits. Underneath, we have the Nike collaboration with Matthew Williams of Elite Studio. And underneath, I have heat tech so I can stay warm. Then we have a simple beanie that I got from Amazon and the Nike Lab ACG cargo pants. These are iconic, but it's paired really well with these a cold wall collaboration with Converse sneaker boots. The tones, the color, the vibe this gives off. I feel like I'm on a Star Wars set. So now we're gonna rapid fire through a few other fits. You guys have been seeing this one in the video. We got a Uniqlo Plus J Mandarin collar shirt in blue. Buttons flared open so you can see the white shirt underneath. Paired with the Uniqlo U coat. A more formal, casual look. This is a great date outfit, by the way. And you can also rock a coat with a more athleisure vibe to it. So let's start off with these Nike Tech Fleece joggers. Obviously, these are super casual. They're sweats. And they pair really nicely with these New Balance runners. These are the 327s collaboration with Color Studio. And then we just got a simple hoodie and then a brown coat over that. It's also accessible to most people. And I just want to be really clear about this. You don't need all these coats. I think you just need one coat. I am a fashion creator, obviously. So I just wanted to showcase your options. All right, y'all. That is my video on coats. If you guys enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Follow my TikToks and other socials. I'll see y'all in the next one. Till then, stay fly. Deuces.